Welcome once again to Douglas Ebola TV, a station like no other, where we throw punches straight up your face, no sugar coating, no editorial restrictions, giving you the real deal so you can deal with it. Let's get on with it. Sweet baby Jesus! I'm getting information from Kenya that they want to allow KQ to run JKIA. They want to allow Kenya Airways to take over the running of Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. I don't know who comes up with these ideas, but these are ideas from your politicians. Uh, politicians in Kenya, uh, they're known to come up with very, very creative ideas on how to siphon uh, things away from the public um, and away from government. So let's 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 check this out because um, I'm very um, against this. I'm not I'm not in support of this issue at all. So KQ, uh, which is a national carrier, Kenya Airways. And you know why um, KQ is called KQ? Does any does any of you know why KQ is called KQ and not KA? Yeah, I know mo most most might not know, but the reason why KQ was called KQ is because actually um, it was given the category Q internationally for being late. KQ was given category Q for being late. Kuchelewa. That's why it was called. It was given category Q, and and you know. They decided to call it KQ. So it's Kenya late. It's Kenya late. Kenya, we are late. Always coming late. So that is KQ. Um, uh, the composition of KQ is 48.9% uh, uh, government owned. Then you have 38.1% uh, th uh, um, owned by King KQ Lenders um, Company uh, 2017 Limited, uh, which uh, most, mostly comprises of uh, uh, you know, a consortium of banks. And then you have KLM, uh, which owns 7.8%. Uh, uh, the reason why I, I think that, you know, KQ trying to run JKIA is not a good idea is because you have to look at um, certain aspects about uh, JKIA. Uh, JKIA, it is a Jumakanato International Airport. Um, it's, it's run um, um, as a government parastatal. It's run differently. And... Uh, by KQ trying to come in and uh, take it over, there are certain aspects that um, are going to be affected. And um, apart from the those aspects being affected, we also have another issue, which is um, what is the future of such a move? And how is the uh, uh, national asset protected by such a move? Uh, those are the questions that you know Kenyans really need to ask uh, these people who are trying to push for this. Uh, of course, uh, it will be pushed hard if it's uh, politicians trying to make this happen. Uh, they, will, they will use and lobby as much as they can, but the people need to stand up and um, bring this uh, to the front so that people can really have a serious conversation about this. So we're talking about, let's say that that deal happens. KQ now runs uh, Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. We know that KQ pays uh, JKIA some fees uh, for parking their planes. So I guess by running JKIA, one of the things that will happen is that they will not be paying these fees. Uh, this is a loss of income uh, to, to Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. Um, another issue is uh, uh, workers' security. Uh, we're not assured. Uh, whenever there's a takeover, uh, there's always no assurance that the workers who work there uh, will be retained. Uh, there's all, normally a restructuring of the workers. There's normally uh, people being sent home. Um, uh, so that, you know, uh, the business becomes profitable. Because right now, it becomes all about the money. Uh, it becomes all about making money. And uh, how do you make money? You just reduce your staff um, uh, and, you know, over overload a few people with more um, work. Reduce your staff, reduce uh, the payments that are going out so that you may increase your revenues. So the future of the workers is a problem, the job security. What is the job security of the workers? And apart from that, we also have to look at the issue about the unions, the workers' unions. What will be their role and how uh, will they stand? Will they be killed? Because um, we know when such a big business um, is actually uh, transacting the business, they hate unions because unions actually fight for the workers' rights. So sometimes they'll, they'll get union leaders and, and, and get them uh, and bribe them, uh, compromise them so that uh, the unions become weak uh, or the unions just die uh, so that the workers are not represented. These are the issues that uh, Kenyans need to ask. And actually find what is really going on um, and ask um, those serious questions 
Um, another issue we're looking about, uh, another issue to talk about is uh, profit over service. Uh, when private uh, business, especially since KQ is also owned by private companies, uh, they come in, uh, the, more, the, the, most, uh, the biggest motivation is profit. So what happens? Are we going to get a situation where we are having um, profit over business, uh, profit over service, where money is uh, the driving force and, um, you know, the customers and the Kenyans at large are not treated in a way that uh, they should uh, in this national asset? And uh, it becomes all about uh, money and, uh, and making money and being charged left, right and center just for the sake of uh, revenue collection. This is another big issue that um, Kenyans need to sit down and talk about in this um, issue of KQ trying to take over the running of GKIA. Another issue uh, that um, definitely lends itself in the future, because the future is very unpredictable, is uh, the private ownership, and that is the takeover, uh, the privatization uh, of uh, Kenya Airways. We know like uh, right now 38.1% is owned by, you know, KQ Lenders, uh, company 2017 Limited, which at, at, like I said, is a consortium of banks um, and the government owns 48.9. Uh, let's look at a scenario whereby we have politicians who are unscrupulous and they decide to sell the government shares or the government decides that uh, this business is not profitable for us. And as a government, we want to privatize it so that um, we can make it more efficient. So the government sells um, a good chunk or a good portion of uh, their percentage in terms of shareholding to the to the lenders so that the lenders become the majority shareholder and the, de and the decision makers. Uh, we can have a, a situation whereby now this is now KQ is owned by private uh, private hands or private companies uh, who are the bank lenders and uh, private individuals running a national uh, asset uh, as Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. I don't want to go into so much details, but there are so many negative things that can come out of this. And uh, this is also a loss of a national pride, a loss of a national asset. Um, and it becomes a, a private asset uh, that uh, now is run by private hands. This can create a lot of a lot of problems, uh, both um, uh, in terms of security, uh, both in terms of revenue collection, both in terms of taxation. Uh, this is a big issue. And also both in terms of um, workers' rights and also uh, the security of workers. So these are some of the issues um, that I wanted to highlight. Um, I don't have all the answers, but um, just to get Kenyans talking and um, getting them to actually look at these things and scrutinize them deeply to just know that whatever you hear some of these things happening or such takeovers, really, really sit down with people who understand the industry and, uh, and people who are honest to actually find out the impact that it's going to have and what and how it affects the country as a whole, how it affects the workers who work there, how it affects um, your, your neighborhood if you live there, how it affects the economy and what is the future and what can happen in the future so that, you know, you don't get surprised when things change and then you and then you, you're caught off guard, like you didn't understand what was happening. So I just want to let you know, let me know um, in the comment section what you think about this. Uh, if I need to do, uh, give you more information about this topic, this is Douglas Ebola TV on YouTube. Also find Douglas Ebola TV on Instagram. Hit me up. Let's communicate. Let's share knowledge. All right. Take care. Till next time. Bye-bye.